Scorpio, hi, it's Lisa here from What's Her Name Tarot. I'm here to do your weekly reading for the week of the 1st to the 7th of March 2021. These are general readings only, so just take with you what resonates. Check your sun, moon, rising, Venus signs, any number synchronicities that may occur and cross watches are welcome. I'm scheduling these ahead of time, anyone who has watched the last couple of weeks. I'm moving house and I don't want your readings to be interrupted. Um, I don't know if the internet is set up there or not and um, so I'm getting these hammered through this week on my week off. I haven't been called back into work and getting them done so hopefully they'll all, well no they will, <laughs> all still upload on your usual day um, for the week that, that it's going to be related to. Um, yeah know anything else um i've just been across the road i have a supermarket across the road but anybody who's watched even from the start i'm a really useless shopper i hate shopping and um and i'm in a leg brace because i dislocated my knee at the beginning of the year so it was even like to me five times as much of a mission just to go over there and get a few things so I just got back and it's like right I'm gonna do these but I did get grapes that's in here beside me so in between the readings I'll be <laughs> I'll be graped out anyway 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 <laughs> Scorpio one card first to the 7th of March 2021 <clears throat> Okay, I love this. You get number 51, Sandpiper Spirit. Be playful. Love that. Yes. Be playful. Don't take everything so seriously, maybe. Um, don't take yourself so seriously. And keep that playful energy about you as well. Um, that one turned around. We're taking it. Um, being playful is like usually puts a smile on your face <laughs> smile on the dial moontology you get the new moon in Taurus prosperity lies ahead so you can be playful as well as get that prosperity that's lying ahead good luck good fortune coming your way maybe for some of you that doesn't even mean it has to be financial um, prosperity can relate to any way but whatever that is, it lies ahead. As long as you play for along the way. Okay, so overall Scorpio you've got the four of swords so doing some healing everybody does this at some stage everybody needs to do it it's knowing when it's time to do it um, you've got to look after number one as well and again don't take yourself so seriously um, be playful along the way but definitely having this healing time me time love that past energies you've got the ten of pentacles the tower and the nine of swords so you had some sort of success here going on but then something happened and like the tower exploded and like that energy went whoosh and um, you've had to almost had to start from scratch for something for some of you it's brought in a lot of stress and anxiety and overthinking of situations just um, going round and round in your head of um, you know how do I get out of this that is in your past energy and do remember you've got mentology here prosperity is lying ahead and um, but whatever it is that towers exploded but it does still give you that beginning that chance to build that solid foundation doing that healing there and starting afresh for some of you present energies you've got judgment the three of wands and the six of wands so keeping an open mind and seeing the bigger picture can bring this victory okay you may be seeing the situation for what it really is or a person for who they really are and by doing that judgment not judging others and not letting them judge you as well listening to both sides of the story you may actually see something or someone in a bigger and better light than what you initially thought future energies you've got the king of swords eight of pentacles and the queen of cups using your head over your heart starting to think things through logically working really hard whether that's on yourself or um, at work 
okay but remember you know even though it may be that healing don't turn your back on everything else and miss some opportunities there's loving nurturing energy around here but i love it with that king of swords because it is using your head over your heart and thinking things through um, clearly there so scorpio we're going to see what the clarifications have So four of swords overall for the week get the king of wands magician and the six of pentacles so that determination and that confidence to go after some dreams okay you're doing that healing you're putting some manifestation into practice there and um, making sure that things do come out equally balanced and maybe even within with that six of pentacles there more so if you get together making sure with somebody for whatever making sure it's equal give and take but also remaining balanced within coming from that healing that's been done there okay so we'll go to your past energies so we start with this ten of pentacles four of cups knight of pentacles page of swords yeah there, there was some sort of success and you were just focused on that okay and you may have been missing what was going on around you um, may have missed some opportunities that came in to clear the air and start something start a new challenge there you have got that knight of pentacles of somebody coming in to work with you to make a successful go of something and it's slow moving this is back in your past energies um, so patience may have been required and it may have brought this tower on to explode um, that we're going to clarify here now with the chariot king of cups eight of pentacles okay could be dealing with a um, um, cancer there with the chariot but getting things into alignment so that chariot can move forward rather than being pulled in all these different directions that's when that tower explodes and um, everything goes south south is that south <laughs> and um yeah, but getting that chariot moving, getting that forward momentum going. You've got the King of Cups there with the Eight of Pentacles as well. So very proud of your emotions and how far you have come on that journey. Okay, and again, working and paying attention to detail, but make sure that um, you're not turning your back on on that um, love stability, that emotional stability that's there with that King of Cups. So it sends you into this nine of swords of overthinking some stress here judgment seven of pentacles page of cups so i think keeping an open mind when it comes to all these choices and options that may have been presented to you especially when it comes to love with that page of cups coming in offering that cup there and um, we've got that seven of cups with all the choices and options so the judgment card again which you do have um next in your present energy definitely keeping an open mind when all these options are presented to you so we'll clarify this judgment the hierophant ten of swords and death could it be dealing with a taurus or another scorpio um but yeah by keeping that open mind you know you're not going to cave into peer pressure you're going to stand up for your beliefs still but you're willing to listen to both sides of the story love that okay because people may have be, been coming in and telling you something you know you need to do this you need to do that you need to be with this person and it's caused nothing but a lot of pain for you and um, in the end you've got that death card love that card and it's like releasing all the energy that you don't need and writing into this brand new chapter this brand new beginning which is the three of wands you're writing into there so you've got the nine of cups two of cups and the queen of pentacles so see you may be seeing somebody for a better in a better light than what you initially thought because you've got that two of cups there there's emotional happiness and stability you're proud of your achievements and how far you've come um, whether it's an existing relationship you may be proud of how the two of you have come, how far the two of you have come together and um, others of you you may be meeting somebody brand new by seeing the bigger picture seeing them in a better light than what you initially thought so love that it sends you into the six of wands victory ten of pentacles two of swords and the wheel of fortune there you go you've got that success back again there okay you may be at a crossroads and not sure which way to go to keep 
continue with that successful good, um, outcome there but um, take that blindfold off look at things clearly and make your choices from there you've got that wheel of fortune that's turning in your favor and it's bringing you that success um, that you've got right there so love that awesome present in I'm um, sorry future energies so you've got the king of swords the Emperor, Seven of Wands, Page of Pentacles. Could be dealing with an Aries. Very strong, very stable, very masculine, very masculine energy. I always say that and I don't know if that even makes sense. But um, strong masculine energy behind you there. But um, persistence, not giving up on something. Not giving up on working with some sort of ideas here. You're clarifying that King of Swords. So um, along the way with that persistence, you've got that clarity and that logical thinking. So awesome. Takes you into this Eight of Pentacles. Get the Four of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, Ace of Swords. Look at that new beginning. Double Aces there. Okay, whatever's happened in the past, you've feel like you've left hanging on to what's yours okay so you're not wanting to open up jump from the frying pan into the fire so to speak okay because you are you're super focused on working here this may be working on yourself because um, you're kind of hanging on to things there but you have got this brand new beginning could be an apology on the cards for some of you um, whether that's you or whether that's them but ace of wands ace of swords brand new beginning brand new dreams and goals and visions to go after making sure that that new beginning is open and honest and fresh and clear and you finish with the queen of cups ace of cups five of cups and the three of pentacles so there's some sort of emotional loss and grief that some of you have been going through but there may be new love here that's going to help heal that you may still be focused down here on what has gone but there's still all this loving energy around you because you clarified the queen of cups as well but there's also brand new love so whether that's a step up an existing relationship or brand brand new love okay but whatever it is again working together teamwork and equal balance equal give and take can build that solid new foundation and start afresh from there because i think there is a new beginning of some sort for some of you here with the three aces like as clarifications and they came out in a row so um love that so scorpio we're going to see what the universe has to say for you Four of Wands, Transition and the Lovers. So again, could be dealing with another Scorpio or a Gemini, but to get that um, commitment and that stability there, there's something that needs to be left behind in the past. Whatever it is there, I think it's happening here. Okay, and again, riding into that brand new chapter, we've got those three aces down the bottom there, and maybe with somebody significant, soulmate twin flame. Again, whether you're meeting somebody new, whether um, it's an existing relationship, you're on this journey together for for that so love that beautiful so Scorpio we finish with the Star Temple Oracle and then we'll go back in the pack so you get number 29 the aquamarine star expression I express my intuition with self-confidence and love beautiful love that coming out of that healing overall for the week and um, maybe that's been playful but definitely with these new beginnings there's possible prosperity lying ahead there and you can express express your intuition there star words fluent fluid flowing the serene energy of aquamarine makes it the ultimate crystal companion for peace and well-being when combined with the throat chakra, this crystal promotes verbal self-expression, enhances spiritual communication, and clears communication blocks. The aquamarine star inspires you to express your intuitive insights with compassion and confidence. Take it, it encourages you to share your helpful wisdom with conviction and poise. Fear often presents fluent expression and transparency. Focus on service and love, not fear. When you speak your innate truth, others will listen and you got you know that is it I express my intuition with self-confidence and love perfect 
Okay, so Scorpio, that's what I do have for you this week. I do hope it helped. Last time you'll see this background. And um, yeah, thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.